Daryl goes to the beach almost every day, whether to go running, swimming, or surfing, and he's noticed something strange that's happened this summer. I'm at the beach quite a bit, and uh, lately it seems the tides have definitely been quite a bit higher. In fact, sea levels have risen all along the East Coast by as much as two feet, producing some minor flooding, and to Daryl, less beach to run on and less wave to surf. Well, the high tide hasn't really affected me significantly, but as you can see on a day like today, with the high tide, the beach access is limited, and from a surfing standpoint, the waves just tend to be a little bit mushier. Minor nuisances, but major curiosity for scientists. At least part of the mystery has been solved in a new report by NOAA. So what is it then? Is it global warming, El Nino, or maybe even a tsunami? Well, not exactly. Scientists have found one possible explanation to help contribute to the extra high tides, and that's the Gulf Stream. The Gulf Stream is a river of warmer water offshore that flows from the Caribbean into the North Atlantic. Because of the swift current, the water is raised on average about six feet from the middle of the stream, higher than the surrounding cooler water. When the Gulf Stream slowed down, that height fell a bit, allowing the water to push back towards the coastline and raise the sea level right along the shore. The bigger question is why? And when will it go back to normal? Those answers remain a mystery until scientists can unlock even more of Mother Nature's secrets. And for beachgoers like Daryl, a day on a smaller stretch of beach is better than a day in the office. Reporting from Palm Beach, James Whelan, WPTV News Channel 5.